Uh, welcome to Phoenix Wright. Wait a second. That's Wait. not that's not so, Phoenix Wright. Oops. That's wrong. Wrong attorney. Wrong attorney. Oh man. Ooh. Don't shoot people. Hey, who who the heck is this Olympic athlete? Oh man, how far he's fallen to go from gold medal to I'm a prodigy among prosecutors. Wow. Always have been, always will be. I like this guy. I love this guy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Nothing to dislike about that. The door is unlocked. What's going on? Detective Gumshoe? Don't come in. What's this smell? It's very familiar. Blood? I am a vampire after oh, all. Oh shit, what if you... Hmm. You've got some nerve committing murder in a prosecutor's office. You missed. Fuck your painting. <laughs> is that a threat? To the painting, Clearly you're dead not now. a very good shot. I don't like art. <laughs> Let me make one thing very clear. What? Tell me what's on your mind, man. No one gets away with committing murder in my office. No one. Is that it's like a fifth personal? time this has happened? <laughs> it's bad that that's a you, they never get He has away to put up it. signs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye. I, I didn't know there was Goodbye. a rule. I, I am so sorry. This is so embarrassing. I'll say. The culprit sullied my floor with dirt rather well. No one gets away with tracking mud into my office. That's another sign I should make. Whoa, sounds like you're getting really burned up over this whole thing. Just because a d guy dies in your office, you're all... The rules of Edgeworth's room is no one gets away with murder in it, and no one tracks dirt in it. This crime was committed in my office, so it is my responsibility to solve it. That's rule number three. Ho oh, ho, that's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Thought it was weird when you put up all those rules, but it looks like it I looks was... like it actually was just a... Looks like I should have kept my mouth shut. If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear the to you. The key was the murder weapon, of course, logic. I've never tried- By finding the connection between two pieces of information. Logic? Yes, logic, and connecting them, new information is born. Is that how it works? That is the end result of using logic. Sounds scary. So how do you use it? The fact that you think logic is scary explains a lot. First, I recall information through the logic button, and then connect them together in What's my mind, in my logic, logic palace. button? What? what? This is the logic button right here. That's why I press it all the time. Can I now press to touch it? the logic button. I'm gonna press the logic the button. Don't touch my forehead. The basis of any good investigation is to examine everything, sir. I know that. I know <laughs> that. And when I want to examine something, I simply touch the examine button. I just look at it, but... I touch the examine button. Is that on the other side of your forehead? Yes. Oh, if you ever feel lost and want to talk, just touch the partner button, the okay? The partner button is it's my on dick. <laughs> Oh, I press that. I'll yeah. I'll give you great precise advice as an ace investigator, sir. Anytime I see you touching your dick, <sighs> I will come running. Something to try later if I have free time. I suppose. <laughs> well, well, it's gonna try it's touching office, his dick later. Well, all right. I hope we can solve this case quickly. I'd like to return to relaxing on this sofa. That thing looks like a looks a billion times softer than my mattress at home. C can I sit on it too? Just for a little while, sir? Your mattress is a towel. Excuse me, pal. Let's see, no what have we got here? I'm very cooperative for a corpse. Mr. Edgeworth, sir. This guy's wearing a gun holster. Oh, you know what's sad? There's no Charlie Brown adults in this game. Oh, and then, oh, there's no court. There's no court. Oh, shit. Hmm. So it appears that our killer somehow managed to take the victim's gun from him. I guess they'll just have to be hiding in the background. Yeah, in the background. <laughs> hey, what's going on in here? I heard a ruckus. We assume that this gun is a murder weapon. It was issued to the victim. Bloody Faith. Faith. Uh, Why probably was he killed in my office? Oh, he's as old as I am. Uh, Gumshoe and Buddy Faith, the two characters in this game. Did Gumshoe to me always feel like he's like 45, but the fact that he's only like a couple years old. Yeah, I'm, I'm catching up to Gumshoe age. That's fucking me up a bit. They dared to shoot the ultra special jacket that you made your prosecutional debut in? Prosecutorial? <laughs> Prosecutionarial? Prosecutionarial? What if they had shot through it? It would have been a disaster! I heard board game is prosecutionary. It's not worth getting worked up over, Detective. Not when there's something more here. Can we play a game of prosecutionary while we're here? You there, the forensic scientist. <laughs> Ooh, that's me, yes sir. 
Could you please dust this area for fingerprints? <laughs> you got it, sir. It's my favorite thing to do, actually. Well, I guess it's good you're a forensic scientist. That's why I became a forensic scientist. I couldn't find, let alone lift, a single print. <laughs> Looks like it was wiped down as well. It's like I'm the third friend in this little triplet. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'm going to be your new friend. It's me, Forensic Fred. Hey! <laughs> Bagel Cop. More like me now. One of the three friends can certainly figure this one. Forensic Fred, you're really pushing it. I suspect that the victim was killed in a standing position, hence the prints on the shelf. And then the guy fell onto the floor, right? The blood on the floor is kind of grossing me out. The handprints on the shelf are fine, but the floor blood. Detective, I don't have the time to deal with your weak stomach right now. And the corpse. Yeah, but floor blood. Ugh. The corpse I've gotten used to. Like, okay, a guy's dead, but blood on the floor. And just... shelf blood. You see shelf blood every day. Yeah. But you know I'm no good with blood, sir. I'm certain there's something wrong with this picture and this detective. Okay. He must have tried to support himself with his hands here after being shot. There are prints on the floor, too. Ugh. Those must have been made when unable to stay standing. He dropped to the floor. Wish he hadn't. Wish he had Wish he oh, stayed standing. Couldn't he have just bled all over the shelf? The victim leaned against this shelf here after being shot, which suggests that he was standing when he was shot. Then that means... Wait, what does that mean, sir? It means you need to use your brain every once in a while instead of mine, detective. No. Oh, Jesus. You in know. any case, it means someone... You know, you can just explain when things. When you're mean, you yeah. really you're fucking... You're really mean. Jesus. That's worse. Like, I don't mind a little ribbing, but come on, man. We've been friends for years. I can't catch a break with you sometimes. Like, I say the most benign comment. You're just like, you're an idiot. You're an idiot, come <laughs> And I'm like, I'm Jesus. Just, I'm sorry. Do you think it'd be okay to prop the body back up to how it was before it was moved? Just for fun. They finished processing the crime scene, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. Well, you think it'd be weird if I moved his mouth and made him like a puppet? <laughs> hey, like, hey, it's me, buddy. Fucking <laughs> back left. That would not be great, Detective Gumshoe. That other guy wanted him to come back. It could be mm. fun. <laughs> if you please, Detective Gumshoe, not the puppet part. Hey, hey, hey John, the truth. I'm back. As I suspect, Gumshoe, stop. <laughs> Looks like Jim was able to leave us the name of his killer in the end. And this most important message managed to reach us. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. You can't be terribly pleased to hear that your beloved partner is the guilty party. This has happened like three times and it never works. And it never works. That's why it's. I always say don't accuse Detective Gumshoe in my office. It's rule number six. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You Jack, know nothing. Jack Portsman. Oh, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you I have know. Facebook? Uh, yeah, actually, you can add me on Twitter. Uh, it's, uh, it's Gummy Bear. Oh, oh that's kind of cute. Yeah, it's, I, I was proud I managed to grab that. You know nothing about me, pal, except my Twitter handle and what I do and my name now. Do you still not see? If not, may I direct your attention to the missing file? Wait, my name's not Gumho. <laughs> You're... What? That's impossible! What's Gumho? What's impossible, Mr. Portsman? What's impossible, Mr. Must Portman? have been Detective Gummo. He lives next door. Um, uh, nothing? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the S is gone and there's only half an H. Detective Gummo must I'm have I'm not Detective Gummo. Uh, uh, gum, gum, oh. If Detective Gummo really was the culprit of this case, I highly doubt that even he could overlook his own name written, his, written in blood on the files. Gummo kills people all the time. That's why he's in prison. It makes it the work of a criminal intent on tampering with the crime scene. Holy shit, don't- you can't do that. Sorry, you gotta School go Rule number seven, it's posted right there. That's so low. I can't believe the criminal tried to pin this whole thing on me, sir. You know, Wright called me crazy for making those rules, but they are all applying this very yeah, night. Yeah, they all- this is perfect. Humor me for a second. Who has the key to this office? That would be me. The gumshoe. Gummy, Gummy bear. bear. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Edgeworth just proved that I'm innocent, pal. Whoa, that was cool. You're like yeah. a sim. Yeah. Okay. A sim? What? Because they spin around when they change oh. clothes. They That's walk. absolutely... Ravana! Krishuna! That's absolutely right. And I acknowledge your innocence. Then why do I sense that you still have something to say? Tulamar. Yo. Crest. But Shura! <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Please refrain from flying off the handle, detective. There's no need for such theatrics. 
Crushura! Listen to your boss, it's active. He understands what I'm saying here. Really like putting on that coat and yeah, taking it's kind it of off. Hot, and it's like, oh, it's like, you know what? Sometimes you're like, it's hot. Oh, but I'm kind of cold again. Uh, anyway, that girl is the only one who could, 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 who could have committed Crushura, the crime. And for one simple reason. Are you broken? <laughs> Jot, Jot <laughs> ports him. Am I on drugs? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's pretty... <laughs> Stuck into your room. <laughs> what was that part? What is, are you guys seeing this? This is not normal. Using the master key. Why not? It's the truth after all. I'm cold. It was also by your logic that we came to the whole thievery conclusion anyway. If you're cold, why did you take <laughs> off? I'm hot again! That may be. It's like a baby. <laughs> I'm hot again! But you must also be aware of the fact that the safe is a secret safe. I'm hungry! It may cause hotness in Portsmans, the existence of which is only privy to prosecutors. Ah! Oh, ghost punch! I find it a little hard to believe that you were punched by a ghost. That's just a guilty motion there. Pretty impossible for a supposedly stolen key. That's in quotes. By the way, if you if you follow my Facebook, so many funny statuses with like quotes, it's like sarcasm. It's really funny. You should check it out. Be here with us, unless, well, unless you retrieved it from Jim after you killed him. You have a Facebook, Mr. Edgeworth? No, <laughs> Mr. Portsman, are you honestly accusing your own partner of being a thief? He actually does have a Facebook, but he doesn't tell people about <laughs> it. I made one and immediately regretted it, and I don't know how to delete it. He was I, in a relationship, uh, with the status with Mr. Wright for a while, but he got shy about that, so he- Shut just, up. Shut your it's, mouth. It's cute. Now then, if you could remove yourselves from my crime scene, I'd be most grateful. And if you would follow my Facebook, uh, that'd be great. I have one follower. Hmm. Mark my words, Mr. Portsman, I will never do that, and we will meet again. What is a basketball doing here? Sports. That's Mr. Portsman's prank. That's so obnoxious. <laughs> You've never seen him using it. <laughs> That's Mr. Portsman's prized possession, sir. It's like every basketball hoop in every suburban household. Oh, yeah, everybody. We had one of those for a while. Oh, oh. look at this guy. It looks like you're in quite the pinch, Mr. Edgeworth. Who are you? To be sure, a murder within the walls of the prosecutor's office is no trifling matter. Mr. Edgeworthlich. <laughs> Who are- Okay, we must find, apprehend, and punish the killer accordingly, post-haste. Sounds like a messy case you've got on your hands. Are you supposed to be here? Only prosecutors mm, are allowed here. Uh, if you ever- I'm- I'm the- If you ever feel lost <laughs> or <laughs> ever need some advice, my door is over, is always open. The is that one... at some other building? No, what, it's what is right your there. The, pro the prosecutor three? Yes, that's how gracious. Me. I will keep your offer in mind. You are some kind of janitor, correct? Right? Who is this guy again? I'm the campaign. I'm the well, that's nice. I mean, sometimes I do need help the... with cleaning. This is like a dream. A dream where I'm being cross examined by the Miles Edgeworth. I've definitely had a sex dream about this. I. Hmm. Don't worry. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failure. So I just kind of like ride the wave at this point. <laughs> Don't really get stressed out by it anymore. Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, got shot in the head like ten times, failed almost every test I've taken, though that's kind of on me, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and now I even managed to be named a criminal just when I've become a security guard. Fuck my life, honestly. <laughs> well, shit. Mr. Portsman had forgotten his office key, so he came down to security, sir. And that's when you loan the master key to him. Don't point at me, it's intimidating. I'll no do way. I want. It's against your hand is huge. I'm, it is very compare your hands it is to the mine. size of your head. You've got some yaoi hands there, sir. I could crush your he head in my hand like that's, a grape. That's your hand is way bigger than my head. <laughs> it's about the same size. Even Mr. Portsman seems dignified just because he works behind one of these. Nonsense. A man doesn't become more or less dignified because of where he works. Well, he still seems more dignified than Mr. Payne. Who that? That guy sucks. Mr. Payne? But, uh, oh, <laughs> I suppose custodial work can also be dignified. Guys, I'm right wow, they... here. However, the master key had already been stolen at that time. Wow. Nothing gets by you, Mr. Edgeworth. You saw that contradiction like a pro. I am a pro. It's like you do it for a job I or do. something. I do. You're right. It was around that very time that I realized the master key was missing. And? Well, I'm a security guard, sir. Not for much longer. Uh, probably not. I couldn't just admit to losing the master key, could I? That's true. You're admitting it to me. 
maybe I'm the problem. Yeah. Maybe that's why my life is so bad. So I I pretended to lock up his room, <laughs> sir. Just, right. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm definitely you, not working here anymore. You're so. definitely not, and you pretended. I steal from every safe that I come across. It either means that he actually does have the key to his office, or that the door Ms. Bird opened wasn't this one at all, but a completely different one. She opened a... Uh, she, sorry? You, do you want to say it? Yeah, she opened a different door, but how can you prove that? What am I even here for? I mean, I'll, I'll just go home <laughs> if you can just... There's an easy way to find out. All we need to do is... You're better gumshoe than I am. Poking around this hallway has actually paid off quite handsomely. Huh? How so, sir? I found fifty dollars underneath that underneath that chair. Oh, really? I'm gonna. <laughs> no, there's no more. I already looked. Oh. Lady and gentlemen, prepare yourselves. Ah, oh, it's because two of us. Come what may, it's time to knock on Truth's door. That That's what you, I call myself. Is that what truth. you call your? Oh, I am I the call truth. Call you that truth? I am the law. Edgeworth is the truth. Edgeworth is the way. Are you done trying to play mind games with me? Because they won't work. He's really good with mind shit. The only thing you should be using that mouth of yours for now is explaining yourself. Although that, too, will only dig your hole deeper. Either way, your game is up. I love this party, like, tears him up and he oh, just, so his sexy. mind uses logic. Well, aren't we full of ourselves, even though you have yet to prove anything? Oh, he'll prove something. Just watch. Just watch. watch. Oh, my part. God. Holy it's the shit. best part Man, of my you, day. Have you ever seen this? Oh, you don't even know who this guy is. Holy shit. It's great. It's a baby Prepare the to get guy. your mind blown. I had your door dusted for prints. My door? <laughs> what for? Come on, I bet you didn't find anything. You, sh <laughs> you sure are good at wasting time. Wow, good one. <laughs> You're right. I didn't find anything, and definitely not Miss Bird's fingerprints. Her prints? What did they have to do with anything? Let's put it this way. If she really was the one who opened your door, then her prince should naturally be on the doorknob she touched. I don't follow that logic. Blah! Wow. Further, can we just arrest him? <laughs> All of the prints on my office door's knob have been wiped clean off. I can only assume it's because Ms. Bird's fingerprints were on it. Don't you think it's time you gave up your charade, like, literally now? We know you stole into my office with the intent of stealing something from me. What are you doing, man? <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, this is sad. What are you doing, man? He's been out of town for months and, like... He's tired. He was on an overnight you, flight. You come around and start fucking around and killing people, and it's, it's just rude. What's wrong with you, dude? Just... As I said when you had the gun to my back. But he asked me not to, so. No one gets away with committing murder in my office. Rule, Rule number, number one, one, bitch. Hmm. Well, we did go and ask around to confirm your testimony. And it was just as I said, right? Yes, sir. A number of detectives said that they saw you at around that time. <laughs> You're really sad, huh? I'm, See, I have the perfect alibi. I really want you to go to jail. That's the ace I had up my sleeve. I'm really tired. It's four in the morning. I'm tired. Uh, man, we'll sick feel of mad. this. Ugh. I'd say that the only ones on here would belong to the murderous you and Mr. Faith. No, impossible. I, I'm. Yeah! How's, how's that taste? Uh, oh, pretty good, apparently. So good. I love dark chocolate. He finally ate his, his metal. That chocolate metal. Mr. Portsman has been placed under arrest for the murder of Detective Buddy Faith, sir. Fucking finally. Very good, finally. Should have been done like two episodes I'm ago. I'm so tired. It was nothing. I'm just sorry you got caught up in a murder in my office. Please accept my apologies. Uh, it was nothing, really, compared to what I've been through, I mean. I consider myself lucky that it was only a burglary and a murder this time, sir. What was worse than this? More oh, often than this? Yeah, I don't want to get Oh, it was five murders and four burglaries. It was a whole city, pretty much. Drugs and on the table. Drugs and thugs and... Bugs. Killing, killing and stealing. I had to get out of that life. With Mr. Portsman not willing to divulge anything, it certainly lends credence to that rumor. It would seem that we haven't heard the last of this. Huh? 
Then Mr. Portsman isn't the bad guy? No, he's a... I didn't say... He he's is a innocent? bad guy. It was Maggie? No. <laughs> Maggie, you're under arrest! Also Looking known. back, I can't say I didn't see these events coming. For they were heralded by the incidents that began to occur two days ago. It is dramatic <laughs> speed, but makes me sound like a nincompoop. The end. But whenever things get serious, you like slow down and... Whenever things get serious, I like to slow down. Oh no, we need to put him out in the sunlight again. He's gotta recharge. Okay. Hi, Francisca Von Karma. I guess you're in this game. She is so pretty. She is so pretty. Look at this pretty little photograph. This means I'm going to be in it. Oh. Thank you for flying our fire lines. We are currently experiencing some slight <laughs> Pilot just turbulence. sucks at flying. We are asking all passengers to please return to their seats and fasten their seat belts. It's doing like yeah. loop de loops and shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh. Oh no, someone died. Can't even fly on a plane without. Seriously. Something happening. Is there something wrong, sir? I must ask that you please return to your s uh... Eek! He, he he's dead. Please calm down. We mustn't jump to conclusions without all the facts. What's wrong? Did something happen? Y you murderer! What? No, no. Murderer! You have it all wrong. It wasn't me. Murderer! 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 murderer. Oh God, Charlie Brown adults. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have just had a minor accident on this flight. On the biggest airplane in the entire- An accident! Don't treat us like we're stupid! I caught a glimpse and it was a murder! Why is this airplane so big? <coughs> what? M murder? What's, What's going, going on, on with this, this flight? Hi, yeah, yeah. Everyone, please, Charlie Brown adults, please calm down. You are the only ones who booked this flight besides Miles Edwards. <laughs> this is Edward. the worst plane in the entire world. <laughs> this is the world. worst flight I have ever been on. Of course, a professional flight attendant can't afford to make mistakes after all. Perhaps, but you must admit there are few who can look at a murder with a, with a clear mind. We attendants all go through extensive training, including many murder scenarios. 100 like, rounds of murder training. <laughs> they do a lot of murder scenarios in our training, and I don't understand what why. what if someone was strangled on a plane? I guess we have to be prepared, and are always calm and collected. Objection. Okay. I don't know why, but... Objection, Ms. Tenero. W what's with the yelling all of a sudden? Ugh, force of habit. Well, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't matter. I want to go too. No, don't. Don't, ah! get, don't get them started, Ms. Tenero. Ms. Tenero. Shut up. You say uh, you saw the. Sorry. If I really was after his money, then why would I steal a penniless travel wallet? Because you wouldn't know that there was no money in before. <laughs> so I killed someone hoping there'd be enough money inside to be worth a murder. I don't know you. You might be weird. Ah, but that's right. You. Mr. Edgeworth. I might be weird. You, that's you, you <laughs> your didn't, entire thesis. You didn't know it was empty when you stole it, weirdo. Ha! Don't, don't believe, believe it, everyone! It's, it's a, a trick! trick. <sighs> Will you all please be quiet for once in your Shut life? Shut up, killer. Shut up, idiot, Ms. Mm. Tenero. That was a good rebuttal. <laughs> I, got put, I, I'm gonna, I, I got, respect that, and I will be quiet. I was put firmly in my place. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what is it now? <laughs> I like this guy. Miss, <laughs> I'm sure you do. I saw it, yes, I did. I saw the victim go on to the elevator. Going down to the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> it was exactly at six o'clock. Time for my six o'clock elevator ride. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite part of the <laughs> elevator. Right, favorite part of the plane ride. Looking forward to this. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Miss Tenero, if you wait until we arrive, there is a good chance that some evidence will have been destroyed by then. I understand. Let me see what the captain has to say. He's captain not Zeus. gonna like it. What do you want? Don't bother me! Ha! <laughs> this should not be approved! 
please, Mr. LeBlanc. Le LeBlanc! Le 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 How Le dare you? LeBlanc. Blanca from Street Fighter. In an emergency, all decisions are to be made by Captain Zeus alone. Now, please wait here while I go ask the captain what to do, and hopefully he doesn't strike me down with lightning. Oh, I will. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get lightninged. It's an honor to be amongst uh, Zeus and Goose Airplane, they the, the, invented, god, the gods of airplanes. They they manifested airplane into existence when the mortals prayed to them. What floors does this, does this elevator service? Only the first and second, although it can go down to the cargo hold. Also, what the fuck kind of airplane is this that has a fucking elevator? It was made by the gods, so it's pretty I silly. I guess that's true. However, that requires a flight crew keycard. I think the elevator just goes like also it just ejects people out <laughs> <laughs> out of the plane. There's like a one in ten chance when you press a button that just oh zero you. floor. So the only floor is accessible to passengers are the first and second of the dreaded zero floor, huh? I know a guy who got the zero floor. Well, I did anyway. <laughs> I'll never see him again. What is this sinister looking figure on the floor here? Oh, that's a piggy bank of our company mascot, Mr. Ifly. Mr. I fly, fly, probably. <laughs> Mr. Ifly. Mr. Ifly. This is one of the many pieces of merchandise we sell at an in fight shop. Pretty sure that's I fly. No, no it's, it's Ifly. It's Ifly. Ah, no. Look at all that grape juice staining the back. It may not look like it, but this chair was extremely valuable. It was? Yes, it was used when the Rocker Pals came to our- <laughs> We're the Rocker Pals, we the best like friends. We Rock like Pals, count down to one. We like- 100, 99, 98, 97, 90. They were not very popular. We like friendship and rock and roll. And counting down to one. The Rocker Pals leader sat in this very chair. I'm sorry, but what are these Rocker Pals? There must have been another person in the elevator with Mr. Hicks. Now then, I'm done playing games. Why don't you tell us the truth? Can you can you please chant Bobo Bo? Bobo Bo? That's a funny show. Is that what you're talking My about? My favorite anime. Can you please translate that for us? Um, no way. That's totally impossible. I guess is what he said. No way! That is totally impossible! I love Bobo Bo! I know there was no other person in there! I saw with my own eyes! If you want to know what I think, Mr. Edgeworth, I fucking hate this guy. I fucking hate <laughs> this, this guy. This guy fucking sucks. I see. That was a very valuable statement you just made. Hmm. Excuse me, <laughs> I don't too much to drink. Flatter me all you want, but you will not get the one cent out of me. Or one burp, one more burp. Um, that's all right, I don't want another burp. Mr. LeBlanc, you said this just now in your testimony. I even said to my punk, you know, I'm, I'm not, that sounds racist, I'm sorry. I, I even said my pocket watch. No, no, what, what, what do we do? I even said my pocket watch. To the it's been a while since I've done this. To destination time when I came on board. There he is. There he is. He found his way out. <laughs> he keeps like, wriggling out. Holy the strong shit. man inside of him. Mr. Edgeworth, were you really here in this lounge the entire time from 5 a.m. onwards? Unfortunately, yes. What were you doing down here by yourself? Apparently killing someone. Yes, the upkeep of the shop is also one of my responsibilities. Responsibilities, you say? Yes, Why I... Why did you not say anything until that? Until now is what I want to know. The fuck I'm a police or something, I don't You're know. You're not a police. I'm a go, police. Go home, Look get off the plane. Look at my finger, police, you did bad things. Go to jail, go to jail. Is that how police work? Yeah, go to jail. Whenever you commit a crime, like 10 if guys just show you, up doing this. You have to go to jail. Go to jail, go to jail. In any case, I believe it's clear that the shop needs to be investigated as well. Go to jail. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm so happy to I'm see so you. I'm so happy to see you. such a big you. old fan. But right now, investigating the in-flight shop is my top priority. Get away from this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, like go, to jail, go to jail. Go to jail. I'm not <laughs> being. I'm you. We have cleared my name like five different ways. But go, go, to jail, go to jail. Go to jail. Go to jail. Just because I don't like you. There is a very good chance that the killer had paid this place a visit. Begin investigation. Well, do you announce everything you yes, do? Yes, I do. That's I have to explain this to everyone. Weird. Doesn't everyone do this? Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Edgeworth. Was that an impression of something? I, I don't know what that was. It might have been racist. I wanted to give you a bit more time. I heard that! 
Oh shit. I found proof that the real crime scene was not in the lounge. The three friends. And three I have enough friends. evidence to prove myself to be innocent of any wrongdoing. So I guess I'm just gonna go back to my seat and watch a movie. Maybe I'll watch, um... Disney's Bolt. Bolt. And yet... That's the only thing they're showing. It's the only thing they're showing besides that other movie. Regarding what Ms. Meal re reminded me about Ms. Tenero. I can't allow my investigation to end here. As much as I want to watch Bolt, the truth must come to light. Wow, horny for that truth. And thanks to Ms. Tenero and Ms. Meal, I was able to preserve the crime scene. But I just can't shake it. I wasn't able to talk with Ms. Tenero in private. Horny for justice. So I'm left wondering just what was she, was she up to? Why did she do what she did? There must be a way for me to continue my investigation, because I'm a horny for justice. I've been expecting you, Miles Oswald. <laughs> what was that, Francisca? I was eating a gumball. <laughs> you were eating a gumball. <laughs> Not chewing one. No. I like to swallow my gumballs. I use my whole mouth when I eat a gumball. Listen, if I'm going to buy a gumball, I'm going to finish it. I'm I going to swallow it. it. I crunch it with my hard palate, so it makes a very weird noise when I talk. Francisca, I thought you were still in Germany. I am still in Germany. I go where no, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> you can't just say things. You saw through my rules. You are the smartest man here. I go where I am needed. You have found, you have, you have figured well it out. Well done. Miles you have solved my- I was my trying to prank you. The first puzzle. Ha. Huh. I don't need a lecture on how to perform my duties from you of all people. Seems like you might. No, I don't. I'm perfect. To be perfect in every way, the fulfillment of that creed alone is all I strive for. Well, I have my own creed, which I must fulfill. It's horny for justice. Miles Edgeverse, if you interfere with my investigation, I'll shoot you in the fucking head on the spot. Are we clear? Sure you will. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Trust okay, me. Okay, oh, please do. Okay, don't tempt me, because I, I have a gun in my pocket. Wait, and really? I'm, Where is I have it? it prepared to shoot. It's in my pocket. It, but I can't show you right now. I don't want to show you, because I don't want to shoot you in the head. Because but what I do, you're going to see you it. You haven't done the wrong thing yet, but you're going to. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Idiot. Where am I going to find the gun? Shit. <laughs> God, now I have to go buy a gun in an airport. That's going to be very difficult. Good to see you again, Mr. Redworth, sir. Boy, am I glad to see you're okay. Why'd you kill a man, Mr. Edgeworth? Thank you, Detective. I didn't. Okay, that clears that up. I feel a lot better. I was really <laughs> worried. I was like, okay, Jesus, that... what, why? I have to admit I'm a bit curious as to what Francisca is up to. Can, does anyone have a gun? Hello? <laughs> Hello, I need a I gun. I need a gun in this airport. Oh, why am I being arrested? Fun? This is ridiculous. I'm not the criminal. Miles Edgeworth is a criminal. Maybe I should ask the good detective. <laughs> I the, I no, 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 I'm the wrong person. <laughs> He's over there. I just found a gun. This is why we don't see Francesca, because she's being arrested. I was, it was kind of creepy, as though she knew there had been a murder or something, and had come in advance to await your flight's arrival. That is sort of odd. She did show up rather quickly, and out of the blue. Not to be the fastest. Plus, I just look my, like my hero, Sonic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's about all the info I have, sir. How you been? We should find out more as we investigate. Uh, fine. How was the foreign country? You I were uh, in? didn't get to watch Bolt on the flight. So I'm oh, you game. haven't seen Bolt? I've seen it. I just I wanted to watch it. It's Bolt. my tradition on a flight to watch Bolt. Oh, it's my favorite, isn't it? Though it's so good. It's Remember all those dog. classic characters like Bolt and Bolt, uh, Bolt, Boltet, Boltet, and uh, there's a cat in it, I think. Anyway, I'd like to leave that type of witness to Francisca and her whip. I'm going to destroy this man. I'm going to whip him into goo. <laughs> to goo. Into a little pile of goo. Oh! I'm whipping him into a pile of goo right God, now. Off screen. It. He's goo now. He's goo. Oh my God, he is. He goo. really he is, is goo. straight up Dragon Quest slime now. This mark here. Wouldn't you say that it looks suspiciously like tracks from two wheels? No, I suppose. Further, there is also grape juice residue on the wheels of the suitcase. What's this nonsense? This means that the suitcase containing the victim's body definitely passed through here. No, no, shut up. Sh stop. Shut up. I suppose this means that the killer... Oh, yes, the classic defense going, shut up, <laughs> no, shut no, up. No, 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 you're, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're logic. wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> then the killer proceeded to pick the bank up from off the floor... and took it to fabricate a fake murder weapon by hitting the victim on the head. Then the tea bag me. Finally, the victim's wallet was planted on my persona. What she did. <laughs> In my pocket, to be precise. But didn't we just... Hold it. 
Let me finish. Why don't I ever hold it line? The killer took the bank out from the display case before the turbulence. Because you're just not that important to have but one. But one day I'll be a main character. I'll get my own game. Hope you're enjoying your own fucking game. It's Whoa, pretty this great. Is, this is silly. Miles Edgeworth's game. Wow, where's the Von Karma game? By opening the lock on the display case door. And it was at that time that the glass pane on the door was broken. In the Von Karma game, there's just a rage meter that just fills you up. You just and click on as many people as you can. And use a it's it's basically a Musou game. It's a Dynasty Warriors game, but Francisco just beats Every, cops. Everyone you vape is guilty and has to go to jail for a thousand years. That's it's like great. my thing. Go to jail. But I really wanted to know. And I was glad to see that it was the last one there. <laughs> Are, are you are you listening? <laughs> Sorry, I had a bad dream for a second. <laughs> the last one there. Why does everyone fall asleep when I'm talking? I had to a them? dream I was having a really boring conversation with a flight attendant. You can leave. I yeah. was opening <laughs> you my heart to me. I hate to say this, but this suitcase that you designed, it looks like ass. It hasn't sold very well, has it? I guess it does look like ass. We weren't selling a single one. And they were just sitting out there, collecting dust. I felt so bad seeing them there, day in and day out, starving. So I just, I would go out with little pellets and yeah. feed them every single day. Are you so, a crazy person? I might be. So I decided to buy one for every flight I worked. I mean, have you seen the design? Actually, that is very manic behavior that I'm talking about You here. buy one every single time you work a flight and then feed them little pellets? I should see a therapist, shouldn't I? Ms. Tenero, where are these other suitcases? They should all be down in the cargo hold. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Then like, the suitcase the killer you could very well have come from the cargo. From the cargo hold. hold. I said it first. You <laughs> did? No, you didn't. <laughs> I just said it right. I cargo. No, I said it first. I, but I stopped. I you finished. said it very delayed after I did. I released my vowel before you did, so that means I said it. What first. are you talking about? Um, Ms. Tenero, is there any other way to get to the cargo hold other than the elevator? A fantasy where somebody would walk down the aisle with one of my suitcases dressed in white. The only other way is just through that door there. Okay, wait, hold on a second. So, you're feeding them food pellets, implying there's some kind of, like, animal. Like a dog or something that you feed food pellets to. Yes. But then your wildest <laughs> dream is you want someone to walk down the aisle with your suitcase? Oh, no, I just I, need to understand how anthropomorphized I these suitcases are. I want them to marry the suitcase. Okay. And... Okay. And what about security? Wait, I have some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I have disease. some questions too. <laughs> how does that... Gumshoe's just standing there silent like, What the fuck is going I on even. here? You can feed suitcases <laughs> food? I had no idea. You can tell us all about what it's like down in this station. Officer, arrest this woman. Maybe next time she'll go to... Wait, can I... Oh yeah, I, I can exit from here. Uh, maybe next time... <laughs> maybe we'll... next time. Hold on, can I exit? Hold on. Yep. How does this video... Can you work? exit from here? There's a door. Hold on, I'm going to what save the game. What are you talking about? I'm saving the game, Miles Edgeworth. You wouldn't understand because you're not metacognitive. There's the gang. Wow, so this is the cargo hold, huh? <laughs> He's really <laughs> excited. It's so big! It's not that big. It's pretty big for a fucking plane. I've seen bigger. Hmm? What is this brittle su- brittle, right? Brittle substance uh, yeah. I'm stepping it's on. peanut butter brittle. It's a bunch of peanut butter glass fragments. Wow. My favorite snack. They entered the elevator, but while they were riding it up, the plane hit that patch of turbulence. Oof. Because of the intense shaking, the suitcase popped. Don't you hate it when your suitcase pops That's like open the worst and the dead ever. body falls yeah. out? And Agent Hicks's body flew out. That's already a stressful situation. That's about the worst it can go. At the same time, his wallet fell out of his pocket, spilling its contents everywhere. Jeez. Poor killer. Investigation complete. Do you always do that? Yes. You... So do I. I'm glad we have that in common. I think that's uh, pretty easy to say who the culprit is at this stage. Like my father taught us. You always have to go. Investigation complete. You have to yell it at the top of your lungs so everybody knows. I know what you're thinking, Miles Edgeworth. How is she so pretty? But the killer can be none other than Miss Rhoda Tenero. We're going to fight about it. But I have the upper hand. I've got a Argument. Bit. 
if it was a crew member, <laughs> any one of them could have shown Agent Hicks to the cargo hold. Argument, argument, argument. 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 I don't. He always. I don't want to have an argument. You have argument. to say it over and over again. Argument, argument, argument. How can I not say that you made a snap judgment when you have yet to even see if the wound on Agent Hicks's head is consistent with the murder weapon? Scruffy. Wait, we didn't do this. Yes, sir. Contact the medical examiner's office at once. I wish to hear the results of Agent Hicks's autopsy. And read it in a funny voice. Yes, sir. Do like, do like a British accent, like uh, a double the morning to you. Stop ya. that right now! Don't ever do that again. Don't sorry, ever sorry, say that to anybody ever uh, again. We we've got a big problem. Sorry, we've got a big problem, Mister Edwards, sir. You're completely useless. Yeah. Make them work faster. Hit them with a whip. That's what I do. Maybe I should try it. Sir, I told you already, you can't go down there. No, you were bringing you from my way. Who, who are you? Oh, you saw that racket. You were the most. Oh, no, is this. Who the oh, it was kind of close. My luggage, my cargo, they're mine, and I demand you return them to me. This has nothing to do with this. I suppose there is no choice. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, I will fall to my death. Finally, I think he gave. Hey, what are you? You have left me no choice but to use strong force. Arr, pirate. You won't get the pass to me, you pirate. Uh -oh. <laughs> this yeah. is... Wait, that's it? So that's what this whole thing has been about. He's just dying. Further, there is the matter of the key to the display case that held the, mus the murderous bank. The mysterious The mysterious bank. murderous bank. Ah! After all... You know, you know that we've searched the entire cargo hold and came up empty-handed. Didn't find anything. <laughs> <laughs> the dog sitter is one giant, uh, one giant bruise of being from his shoulder down to his mid back. Does anybody notice a man is dying right now? Anyway, hold that thought. <laughs> He he really jumped. He's dying. Ah! He, we didn't realize it until now. But oh. Would you be quiet for a second? We're trying to discuss this. My balls. My balls. Your balls? <laughs> the answer has been right in front of us this whole time. The victim fell from a great height and subsequently died That's as a result. That's about to be my cause of death. Because my balls are destroyed. In other words, the real cause of death is free falling to the ground. He, F. F? What? Fell to his death? Yes, this is the only plausible possibility. F. F. Fell to his death? <laughs> F. 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 Fell, fell to, to his, his death? death? The victim has extensive- that's my favorite Sesame Street song. F. F. <laughs> fell to his death. Wow. The victim has extensive bruising on the back of his head and his back. This is a weird episode. And the only rational ex explanation for these injuries is that he fell to his death. Remember when Bert fell to his death and they went, F, F, fell, <laughs> fell to, to his, his death. death. Oh, my balls. I need a hospital. My balls are in uh, he, he, Bert, F, F, <laughs> fell to his death. F, F, fell to what, his death. Uh, what does that mean, Arnie? Hmm. Suppose that large piece of cargo wasn't there at the time. What would have happened then? He would have been a Borginian pancake for sure, sore, sore, sore. <laughs> I suppose that man sore. sore. He definitely looks very sore. I suppose I that am, but my balls especially. Mr. LeBlanc, there is a chance that your cargo is related to our murder case. I was wondering if you would allow us to examine it a bit closer. It is a very valuable piece of art, so no, there will be no touching. No touching, no looking, no breathing. But I can think about it. Uh Don't even think about it, I can I'm, feel it. Uh, is it possible this statue is a fake? Uh, maybe if only we had a photo. Oh, hold on, hold on. Press the deuce on the eyes. We had a, a photo. And then, uh, hold on a second. Is this about somehow connected? Well, why don't we take uh, a look uh, at this little photograph what here? What color are the eyes? And we'll, uh, no, hey, wait, wait a second. Those, uh, eyes, those are eyes are red. These eyes are red. That's not like gumshoe's cat. Fuck! Eyes. Eureka! These eyes are awfully orange, don't you think? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what did <laughs> you just say? Say that again, please. Everyone has to give me shit about this. I'm just it's, trying it's, new things. It's just, it, but that's not working. Eureka? You stop that. Eureka? Like Eureka's castle? Did anyone watch that? 
I, I might be the only kid who ever watched that Shiba was like Castle. an old Nickelodeon yeah it was like I super, did not I was like two when I watched that I only heard about that from Dave that's like the first memory I've ever had <laughs> watching Eureka's <laughs> and Castle define the rest of your life pretty much investigation complete investigation complete it was my investigation it is what? and I completed it and maybe, I did it so. maybe next time uh, Francisca von Karma will complete another investigation uh, I investigate uh, Miles Edgeworth is stupid uh, I figured it out he is okay investigation I complete solves the murder Miles Edgeworth sucks that's the solution damn